there, I'm Nicole Stevens. I'm the Vice President of Clinical Research at doTERRA. And I'm so excited to take a few minutes today to share with you one of my favorite essential oils, and that is frankincense. Now, those of you who have been with doTERRA for some time, you know how amazing frankincense is. But if you're new, I am excited to be able to share with you some of the history and botany and chemistry of this fantastic essential oil so that you can hopefully understand why it is so prized and so amazing. And I hope you take the chance to try it, especially now when you have this great opportunity. So what makes frankincense so amazing? Well, the history of frankincense is really quite interesting. It grows only in certain places on the earth and really some of the most unforgiving and desolate places on the earth. It's amazing that a tree can even grow there in these deserts where it grows over in the Middle East. Now, legend has it that merchants and people who wanted to collect frankincense would scare away their competitors by telling them that the trees were guarded by dragons and genie. Well, that wasn't the case, but the trees do grow in very unforgiving landscapes and the frankincense tears are hard to collect. Now, we work directly with the growers, the harvesters of these frankincense trees. They have to know how to collect the frankincense correctly, or the tree itself is damaged and could die. The way the frankincense is collected, a harvester takes a knife and scores the tree very carefully, and it creates a small injury in the tree, but one that the tree is able to heal. The way that it heals it is by releasing frankincense resin. This resin comes out on the surface of the tree and hardens into what are called tears. Now these tears are then harvested by the harvesters after a certain amount of time, and they're graded according to what type and the hardness of the tear and a few different things like that. Now, like I said, if this is done incorrectly, it can damage the tree. And that's why doTERRA is so proud to work directly with these growers to make sure that it is done correctly, that these trees are healthy and they live and grow in these places. Now, interestingly, there have been some experiments about trying to take and grow frankincense trees outside of their natural habitat. Do you wanna know what happened? Nothing. The trees had a really hard time growing. And even if they did grow, they didn't produce frankincense like we get from the trees in their native habitat. So that's one of the reasons this is such a rare and precious essential oil for us. It's only grown certain parts of the world and only collected in very specific ways. So when you have that little bottle of frankincense, you can know this is a very precious essential oil for those reasons. Now let's talk about the chemistry of the oil. Frankincense chemistry is unique among all of the other essential oil chemistries. It's got some uh, different types of chemistries and some are similar to others, but its overall profile, very unique. Now, it's mainly characterized by small molecules called monoterpenes. These are the smallest types of essential oil molecules. They're very volatile and very active. And you'll notice this as you open the bottle, you can immediately smell the amazing aroma of the frankincense essential oil. So alpha pinene and beta pinene are two of the main constituents of this essential oil. You might notice as you smell it, there's this beautiful pine forest kind of aroma. That's because of those monoterpenes that are present. There's also limonene, surprisingly. Now this is a chemical we normally find in our citrus essential oils, that lemony freshness. But if you smell very carefully on your frankincense, you'll smell that little bright limonene note. It's just beautiful. And then there's also alpha thugene. This also contributes to that deep, woodsy, foresty aroma that we find in frankincense. It's so pleasant and so beautiful. When you put this on your skin, when you put it in your diffuser, it just fills the room, almost as though you're walking through this ancient, precious forest. You may think, okay, I've got this wonderful bottle of frankincense. How do I use it? What is this going to do for me? Well, one of my personal favorite ways to use frankincense is to put a drop into my facial moisturizer. And I find that when I do that, it just makes my skin feel so healthy and look amazing. 
Plus, I love the way that it smells. And I'll I'll do this at night when I'm doing my cleansing routine and my husband will just love the way that I smell after I do that. It's also amazing to put a drop on your wrists or behind your ears as a personal fragrance. Like we mentioned, the volatile chemicals in the frankincense are wonderful and they diffuse out and it will make a wonderful personal fragrance for you to wear anytime. And one of the best ways this essential oil helps to uh, promote and increase feelings of well-being and balance. You might notice that as you're diffusing it, you're smelling it, and it's often used that way with spiritual practices, with meditation. And in fact, one of the most important ways that frankincense has kind of grown and made a name for itself is in the practice of what's called shinrin-yoku, the Japanese uh, word for forest bathing. Now this idea is actually pretty simple. It's an idea that as we walk in nature and as we connect with the natural environment like we'd find in a forest, our bodies respond very positively. They respond with increased mood and uh, increased uh, feelings of well-being inside of our bodies. Scientists have studied this and they found that as people walk in the forest and breathe in those chemicals produced by the plants and the trees, they're better, they're healthier. So frankincense is one of those essential oils that has the chemistry like we would find when we're walking in a forest. The alpha pinene, the limonene, these things as we're breathing them in when we diffuse, they have the same effect as though we're out having a beautiful stroll in nature. So what a powerful way to bring wellness into your home, into your office, with your family, than to diffuse and use this essential oil that kind of brings the forest to you. So a few of my favorite oils to blend with frankincense. I love to use it alone, but I also love to use it in blends. I love to put frankincense with helichrysum. Now, if you are familiar with helichrysum, this is another very powerful oil for skin support, for well-being, and for uplift. So in the morning, I will typically mix these two essential oils together and use them on my skin. It's a beautiful way to start the day. I also love it with sandalwood for the same reason. Sandalwood essential oil is known to support healthy, beautiful skin. So when you combine it with frankincense, it's a very powerful combination. Lavender, of course. Lavender is one of our very most popular, most wonderful essential oils, and it goes together with frankincense absolutely beautifully. This is one that I love to add to my shampoo and to my moisturizer. A lot of my uh, personal care types of products and routines, those two essential oils are fantastic to really boost the effect of that beautiful skin. Copaiba is another one that I'll sometimes put with frankincense. This is one that I love to use in a massage. So I'll get to the end of the day, my body will feel tired and run down, and I'll be going to put my kids into bed. We'll sometimes just sit and have a little massage on our hands, on our feet. Copaiba and frankincense are an amazing combination for that kind of a massage. It does wonderful things for our well-being and helps us prepare for a good, healthy night's sleep. And finally, I like to put frankincense with rosemary. This is my absolute favorite combination for my shampoo and my conditioner because rosemary also has some really good stimulating scalp benefits. And when it's combined with frankincense, you end up with this beautiful, um, healthy looking hair. So as you can see, I use frankincense a lot in my personal care regimens. I use it in a lot of diffuser blends. It's something that my house uses pretty much every day. We find that this is one of our most precious, well-loved, versatile essential oils. I hope you take the chance to try it and see what benefits you can have for your family. I am sure you're going to love this precious and amazing essential oil. 